camera. So what you see in front of you now is the headquarters of our checkpoint. It's a 10 by 12 foot snow trekker hot tent with a wood burning stove inside of it. So this is the area that teams will come into the sawbill checkpoint. They will come down the hill that you see off in the distance and come across the bridge and the dogs will actually stop right about where I'm standing at this point. Most of the John Bear Grease Sled Dog Marathon is run on snowmobile trails. So trail markers will be put out along the trail to let snowmobilers know to keep an eye out for sled dogs on the trail. Once the teams come in, they'll take a left past our checkpoint headquarters and past these boards that you'll see leaning up against the tent where we write in the times that the teams came in. They'll head on down the trail to a clearing in the woods where they'll be able to pull their teams in and bed them down for a few hours to get some rest. Sawbill is a remote checkpoint on the Bear Grease Trail which means we have no facilities, so no running water, no electricity, which is why we have the tent and where, why we have the outhouse. Um, so just a quick look at what the outhouse looks like. As I said, it is a, a primitive checkpoint. So that is the place where everybody gets to do their business over the next couple of days. The chutes that have been cleared through the trees for the dog teams have been built so that the teams can leave and go straight out onto the road to the place that they need to go to to leave the checkpoint. So here's a look at what those chutes look like from the road and where the teams will end up. Each checkpoint on the trail has a vet tech. So what we're doing here is setting up a tent so that the vet techs have a place to administer care to any dogs that need it at the checkpoint. So that's a look at setup of the Sawbill Checkpoint. Thanks for following along. We'll have more videos of the John Bear Grease Sled Dog Marathon in the days to come.